Hi, this is Tom with Compix, and today I'll be showing you how easy it is to set up your Autocast for integration with a Fairplay, OES, or Dactronic scoreboard. You'll be able to connect to the Compix through a serial port, which will use a COM setting. To get started, I'd like to explain the interface a bit better. To the left we have our templates, which were created in GenCG, but saved to the template folder inside the Autocast folder. In the middle we have our area for assigning data to our templates if you were to use a text file or an Excel file. For this presentation we will not need to assign data. Above we have the buttons to add these files to our playlist. On the right we have our playlist. I love the fact that you can adjust the view so you can focus on one template or as many templates as you want. Down below the template list we have our playback controls. Our first step to preparing a template will be first to select it like so. You'll see all of my aliases are here on my left. They represent everything you'll be capable of updating. To explain aliases a bit better, I'm going to edit my template by right-clicking and selecting Edit. An offline version of GenCG will pop up, and as you can see, I had to create text, right-click, and select Assign Alias. You want to make sure your aliases names relate to the specific sport. Once your aliases are assigned properly, remember to save. Next I'm going to assign my buttons to my OES, Fairplay, or Dactronics controller to the correct alias. I will click the watch, which will force a window to pop up. Here you'll select your data type, which will be sports interface at the bottom. Then you'll want to select a protocol type based off of your scoreboard and sport. If you're a new integration and your sport does not appear, you'll need to choose custom. Make sure to contact our offices if your sport is not listed below. We will send you a text file which will relate to that sport. Now that my text file is opened, I can easily assign specific button terms to my aliases as you can see. Once I'm complete, I will press OK. Now I'll press the Add button to add the template to my playlist. Remember, you can adjust the view and you can adjust the size of your Autocast software as well. I'd like to show you that you can select one of the other options here in the menu. It will be just the same as I've selected with Custom. You'll still have to assign a button term to the alias like I did with the Custom. Once I press Start Autocast, my template will play to the screen and I'll be able to adjust my aliases with my OES, Fairplay, or Dactronics controller. My files will look seamless and automatically update. If I press current page only, it will play the effect for the alias when an item is updated. So if I have a fade effect on my strikes, and I change my strikes from one strike to two strikes, the alias will fade in the number two. Now I'd just like to show you some other sports templates so you understand our capabilities. That about wraps it up. Please email us at support at .tv if you have questions. Or you can visit our website for more details at compix.tv. If you have any sales inquiries, please call our offices at 949-585-0055. Thank you.